Here's an update on the diesel mini bike. Got all my stainless in. Picked up one of these RHB 31 turbos. Say it's the smallest one you can get, so I got pretty much the smallest diesel you can get. We're gonna see what happens. Got all my flanges all ready to go. Give y'all an up close view of this diesel engine so y'all can figure out what it looks like. There's your fuel pump. There's your injector right there. Here's something that's kind of funny right here. The vent ain't hooked up to nothing, so it's just venting to the atmosphere. It's been running good. Put two or three tanks in her. Starting to rattle the frame apart. Once. I'm still on my second tank. Here's a view of the other side. Now, I haven't been able to find any oil pressure port on this engine, so I could plummet to the turbo. So, we're just going to run a separate system just to cool the turbo off. Now I have two of these turbos, one of them's water cooled, one of them is just oil cooled. So I'm gonna use the cheaper of the two, which is this one. Then when we go and build our uh, 10 horsepower diesel lawnmower, I'll use the water cooled one on that one. Got a boost gauge on the way. So once it gets in, we'll have part two up. Hopefully I'll have all this stuff welded and. Good little video. Ended up finding this pump right here. Should do pretty well, a gallon per minute. Gonna get a half gallon tank. We're gonna mount it right here behind the mini bike. So it'll have its own separate oil system. And uh, probably gonna get a fairly good sized battery to put up front. And uh, when we do that, we'll do some off-road lights and all that stuff. But uh, stay tuned. I'll try to get some welding clips to throw in the next video. Should have this thing going by next week. It's going to be mounted right about here. Hopefully we get all the piping done today. Get to see what she sounds like. Went ahead and painted the turbo too to keep it from rusting. Yes, sir. Glad I, was, I had that idea. Yeah, it was Chance's idea. So. Yeah, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, man, it looks nice like it is, but... Take her mud rod one one time and rinse her off. She's gonna be covered in rust. So she looks good like this. Hit her though. with a coat of that Rust Oleum uh, barbecue grill paint. And tell you what, see how she holds up. Ought to stay looking good for at least a good while. Yep. I'm about to get a chance to come over here and help me mock up where we're gonna put the turbo exactly, but. Basically, this is gonna be connected to another plate welded to the frame, and then there'll just be two bolts with the rubber isolator bushings I got on here holding the turbo on. So, should be a nice setup. So this is what we're working with. It's all loose right now, so I can move the turbo. Went ahead and put a one inch TIG bead right there to go ahead and hold it in place. I'll end up welding it on the back side too. You can see I'm already starting to burn through the paint. But once I finish that other side, I'll clean up this side. I'll weld it over here and she'll be finished up. Then we start on the pipe.
getting it all fitted up. This side's already welded out. Working on the cold side at the moment. She's looking good. That blade's about done for. It ain't got no teeth left on it. Nope. Yeah. She made about two PSI. Two or three. I think yeah. I saw three. At one point it made three for sure. But I had to play around with it some more and actually ride it. Because every time you hit the brake, that's when it would load up and build boost. Whenever you'd introduce load, that's when you'd yeah. see it. Is it going to be like actual? That means you might need to put a smaller sprocket back on it. We'll see. So it makes more load so it can build more boost. We'll see what happens. This is awesome. Yeah. Interesting project for sure. Yeah, and then we're done with this one. Got to pick up another one of these MB200s. Stick one of these in there. Good old six horse diesel. Got to have another competitor. All the way. Boost your that's why she was rolling so much coal. Looks like it got old. I think that's fuel. <laughs> she running that ridge. Uh, it could be for me turning her over. Oh, I think she's running good. She's still smoking. Diesel, stop rolling so much coal. All right. What kind of blind retard cut this? What the throttle? No, these plates. Oh, some some Chinaman man. I, I had to put uh, the ones I actually used on the uh, drill press for a while. Bigger bolt. Yeah. Said it would fit the VZ21 and everything, but it didn't fit. Nothing did. Look at that coal roll. Yeah. Look at that coal rolling out the garage. That is because this is a RHB31. Yeah. It says for RHB31 or VZ. The RHB is just a higher end model of the same turbo, but it, it has the same specs. Tolerance are just a little tighter. So do we have any boost leaks anywhere that you can see? I don't see any exhaust leaks. Or exhaust or anything. She no, you'd see it. She was good. It'd be yeah. black. Yeah. 
wonder what will happen if she runs backwards or how the turbo will spool when I stop the stop sign. Well, I have to put a GoPro on it on the gas tank so we can see what the turbo does. Yeah. What does the turbo do when the diesel runs backwards? We got to do something with this vent back here, though. That's just spraying oil uh -huh. everywhere. Nah, uh, good lubrication for everything. No, I figured we could use the catch can you got back here. Oh, yeah, all we got to do is plumb her in and put a breather at the top. Well, no, you'd have to move it down below it. No. It'd be gravity no. fed. No. 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 It, it'd pump it. Yeah, pump it, pressure. Yeah, if it's shooting that much already. Yeah. Just pump it in to right here. And then put a breather right there. And then whenever it fills up, bam. And close it back on. Yeah, put it in the cup, dump it in the gas tank. Yeah.